thanks. Um, sorry for hearing me again. Um, I'll, actually, this talk uh, is something that we've been, uh, Inbar and I are thinking about these kind of things for a while now, and uh, we started talking with a bunch of other people. Uh, it might fit as well in this philosophy track, but uh, I think it's mostly actionable for the operations one. Uh, and what we want to talk about is something that, some gap that we're seeing uh, that is not really addressed uh, about business logic abused. Uh, it is highly related also to where a lot of the applications are moving to when talking about like serverless and, uh, and platform as a service where there isn't a network, there isn't a server, uh, where most of the hackers can, can gain benefit from it. Um, and what's the problem that we're seeing? Uh, uh, again, when talking about web application, uh, uh, where a lot of the business impact is moving, a lot of uh, when talking about website, again, less enterprise, but uh, most of the things that people are doing are through applications today. Um, uh, and, and there are a lot of ways to uh, exploit an application and to uh, get uh, what you want as an attacker without actually getting control over the system or over the network. You don't need to... Uh, a hack into a, a server where you can actually use some some flaw in the logic of the, the application or of, of what you're doing. Uh, scraping of data. Uh, you don't need to hack into the database to get a dump of the database. A lot of the data is actually available online. You can be smart about how you can get it. Uh, it might be account abuse uh, or account takeover. Uh, all kind of credential stuffing, enumeration of stuff. Applications are open to the world, and in many cases, if you don't put the right security measures on the business side, then people can abuse it. And these are things that we're seeing, and these are things that are not always accountable for. Um, and the reason we, we don't see the accountability is it's... Uh, in the, in the security community, uh, there is a very strong bias to network security, uh, infiltration, uh, the actual hardcore security stuff. Uh, am I being pwned and someone hijacking my computer or my network? Um, for the business people who are actually building the application, the product guys, uh, they don't really think security-wise. So there might be logical flows that are just available there. And, bad guys can actually get money by doing that, by owning uh, accounts, by, by getting data, by, by using that information. Uh, and in many cases, there is no traditional breach. No, no user, no malicious actor actually infiltrated your network. No one got control over the server. Um, so if someone implementation of uh, of login is not is faulty. Nobody hacks the server, but maybe your customers' uh, credentials are being uh, abused by by guessing them from millions of different IPs. Uh, well, it's not a security breach, uh, uh, but it does have a huge business impact. Uh, and basically, what we we're seeing is, or what we feel is, that there is some lack of ownership. The business people don't necessarily understand that. Uh, and then the, the security people don't really see any flaw in the implementation of the security. Uh, it's sort of, in many cases for the organization, some, uh, uh, there are some, like in e-commerce, where the entire business of the company is the application, then there is awareness for that. But in many other places, basically it ends up being the CEO. The company may be losing money. Uh, attackers might be gaining benefit by, by fraud. Again, an example of click fraud, marketing are spending money. Uh, it's spread out all over. Uh, nobody really cares about it. Everyone is doing his job. Nobody is accountable for that. Uh, until you go to the CEO level, uh, nobody sees it as an ownership. Um, so some of the actionable tasks that we're thinking of and this is where we're trying to figure out, is it uh, some, something new we should do? Is it some, some, some accountability? I mean, first of all, figuring out, are we vulnerable? Uh, is your organization vulnerable to this kind of attack? Is your application, uh, why, what, what will an attacker gain by, 
by doing such a thing, uh, what are the financial benefits usually that they may get, uh, which are very different than uh, uh, the, the traditional security. You won't see that in the access log to servers. It's not SSH. It's not logging to the devices. But what can they get? Is it uh, um, competing against you? Is it uh, uh, gaining access uh, or enumerating credit, stolen credit cards on the black market? Again, PCI, I'm, I'm completely covered from PCI, from, from standard or anything. I don't store my passwords. I don't store my, my credit card, but I do let some bad guy test millions of different stolen credit cards through my, my site uh, and basically abuse me and uh, I might give, I, my business might be shut down by Visa or by, by Amex or MasterCard basically saying that, hey, you're, we're getting way too much fraud from, from your application. Um, so what are the vulnerabilities and how can we educate the organization to think about that, to figure out where an attacker can abuse my, my business logic and my application. Uh, now, I don't know if it's a new type of ownership, if it's a new type of business logic uh, uh, security, uh, business application. Definitely something that we'll need as we move to serverless, as we move to uh, a place where everything is basically logic implemented somewhere. You, you don't need to protect the server itself, but you do need to protect your application and the logic and how it impacts. Uh, thinking about how to measure that. Uh, and I don't know if it's where security will move to or if it's, again, a, a new role uh, that we need to figure out in organization and, and define the owner, but, but we definitely need to raise more awareness to that, uh, figure out how to measure that, wh how to measure the, the impact. The interesting thing is that uh, unlike, or I don't know if unlike, but in many cases in security, it's quite hard to measure the exact uh, business impact or the, the financial impact of a breach. Uh, there is like, usually it's like everything is down. Uh, if my servers are being taken over, it's a catastrophic thing. It's like a life insurance event. And here there are like a lot of things that are actually very measurable. If someone is uh, stealing my, my users and, and impacting or can do fraud by, by gaining control over them or buying things on, on my site, there is a very measurable uh, uh, financial impact on that. If someone is frauding my, my advertising and causing me to pay to publishers more than I need to, it's, it's highly measurable. So uh, this is actually one of the benefits that we can measure that, we can look what is the impact and educate the, the, the rest of the business to be more aware of that. Now, I don't know what's next. This is again more of a call for brainstorming or call for awareness. Um, we're, we're extremely interested about that. We do see that many organizations that we're advising to or, or working with are lacking that functionality and, and we're trying to figure out how to educate, how to raise more awareness to that. Um, I think this is it from our end. <laughs> uh, yeah. So open for questions or giving you back time.
Yeah. And and it's basically attackers do what they typically do. They identify gaps where they can or arbitrage where they can so nobody is looking at and they can make money out of it. And these gaps are there. And, and in many cases, it's just like impacting. Again, we're seeing issues with analytic fraud. So basically, you're trying to measure conversions or actions of users so that you can optimize your product. And then someone is messing up things and sending uh, uh, simulated traffic that is not converting. You're paying for that, but you're also uh, losing visibility to your business metrics. So you can't make a knowledgeable decision. There is a huge potential monetary uh, impact, but nobody's really aware of that because the marketers are just looking at the numbers and they don't really verify how how much of a quality, uh, it, it, if it's garbage in, it's garbage out. Uh, it, it's very similar in that sense to the, the data that we're collecting from the security point of view. Again, if we're collecting garbage, if someone is messing up our logs, uh, the same impact is now uh, going to marketers and they're way less technical than we are uh, and the, the potential on the business is much higher and, and there are a bunch of things. Spam, someone spamming your site, it will impact your reputation, people will just go away. So there are a lot of things around it that are in the application that will just hurt your brand and hurt your business. Okay, thank you. <laughs>